Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video, but I'm out here with my boys today and we are gonna do a paint job on my Remington 700 ADL. And this is not uh, meant to be perfect. I'm not trying to teach you how to do anything. We're just having some fun. We've got about five minutes while the baby's taking a nap. We're gonna slap this thing together, but this is gonna be one of those things I think will be a fun memory. Hey man, you remember that time we painted that thing? And this is my 223. So this is going to be one that they're absolutely going to be uh, training on, hunting with, um, and going out with me with this rifle. This is, again, my 700 ADL. But I recently filmed a video. Uh, this one came with a scope. You know how sometimes they do that. Here's a rifle with a scope, and then they throw like a $10 scope on it. Well, sometimes those are good, uh, and sometimes they're not. Uh, but I recently filmed a video shooting this thing, and it would not group at all. Uh, so we took that scope off. I redid the uh, mounts here. I got brand new scope rings where's the box let me show you guys i got these uh scope rings right here they're definitely not expensive these are some weaver extra high walmart jobs i got i literally went to walmart and bought like five of those to throw them in the drawer because i'm always needing more scope rings but i reached in my uh drawer full of random doodads and grabbed out the best random scope i had laying in the uh, dresser and that was this 20 power zoom center point. Um, I've had this thing in tons of videos over the years. It's not an expensive scope, uh, but it's always done me really good. There's the CP right there. This one's got the illuminated reticle. I think at the time when I bought this uh, scope, it was like 70 bucks or something. But I've got all the somewhat important things covered up with some tape. Uh, we're gonna have some fun painting this. I've made up a little random stencil here, but me and the boys, we're just gonna have fun painting up this Remington 700. It's some camouflage. Is this gonna be cool, boys? Are you gonna hunt with this thing? Mm -hmm. What do you think, Bobby? You gonna hunt with this one? I think it's cool. You can say, hey, I'm hunting with the gun I painted, but check this out. We're just gonna do a little bit of painting out here in the garage while the baby is taking a nap quick. This is gonna be fun. Check it out. I did about a five second Google. Some people say paint the lightest color first. Some people say paint the darkest first. We're just going to do a whole bunch of random stuff and have fun. And yeah, stay tuned for another video where we show sighting this in with the new torque down uh, center point scope. Another thing I forgot to mention, I normally don't use blue Loctite on scopes or rings or rails or anything. A lot of times because I'm always swapping scopes. I got more rifles and scopes. But this one, I know I'm going to leave set up this way. So I actually did use blue Loctite. Got out the torque wrenches. Got it all down to spec. And we're going to sight this in in another video. I know a lot of you guys were worried about this uh, 700 wouldn't group well. A bunch of you guys are in love with 700s and wanted to make a lot of excuses for this rifle. So we're going to give it the benefit of the doubt. Torqued everything down. And yeah, we're going to shoot this in another video. But back to the painting part. <laughs> Let's paint this up real quick. I'm just going to start with this. What is this? Some kind of green, gray color. And we're just going to go from there and have some fun. You ready to paint some? Mm -hmm. All right. I changed my mind. I'm going to start with this green color. I already took the cap off. Green's my favorite color. This is a gloss enamel right here. Which most people would say, you're crazy, that's going to do glare and all that, and the cow ears are going to see you. But I like this color, and we're just going to have some fun with it. Hopefully I taped up all the spots that needed to be taped. Alright. Let me get you guys up close to see this color green here. Might be kind of hard with the... Uh, with the lighting, but I put that on pretty thick. 
Uh, but yeah, you paint yours however you want to paint it. I really like this green color. So, you probably see it on the cardboard a little bit better, but there's, well here's the lid. That shows you the green color here. What is this? Hunter Green. But I've got a pretty thick coat on the whole rifle there. I know this is like terrible lighting here in the garage, but here you can see it on the tape. Now we're just gonna let the boys have a little fun spraying. You ready to paint? Yeah. I want to go All after right. you. Okay. All right, I got a little work light and that's gonna help us see that green there. But check out that green, that's like my favorite color. So now boys, you got your paint? Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm just going to kind of hold it up in different spots and you give it a spritz where that stencil is, okay? Here, let Jackson do a couple first and we'll take turns. Okay, now, I'll hold it up and you just kind of give it a little spritz here on this paper. Here, wait, let me show you. Remember, you got to keep it moving. Go, psh, psh, move it fast. Remember? Right there on those lines. Hold it, hold it about that far away. Okay? Here, let me show you real quick. You just, I'll hold the paper and you just give it one, do like this. See that? And then look at how cool that is. See how it made those lines? Wow. That's pretty neat, huh? So here, you do something. You really got to push down hard on it. There you go. Whoa, boy, whoa, boy. <laughs> just a little bit is all it takes. Okay, we took a break to do a little bit of practice with the spray paint. So we're practiced up now. We're just going to keep spritzing it and keep moving along and keep painting this up so far. I really like the look of this. But we're going to keep doing some more spritzing and then we'll show you guys the end result. Here, Bobby. Hit it right there. Just real quick. Remember? Oh, yep. Remember, a little bit further away when you do it. About that far away, okay? All right. So... We're done with all the painting now. Now I just got to take the tape off. But for a 10 minute homebrew job that I've never done before, I'm actually kind of happy with it. You know, it doesn't look like some kind of professional rig. But for me, I think it's pretty cool. A gun that we're going to use hunting and whatnot. But let me show you up close. Then I'm going to take the tape off. After I take the tape off, it's probably going to look kind of ghetto in places because. I was not super precise with all the lines on the tape. I just kind of slapped it on so we could do it quick, but check it out. Here is what we ended up with. Take some of that glare off there. See how we did that hunter green base and then really just a bunch of like stripes all over the place. This side kind of has more skinnier stripes. One thing I didn't account for was the stencils getting covered in paint really fast. So I, I thought I could just use one stencil ended up having to make a bunch of them. And the other side, these are kind of skinnier stripes. This other side is a little bit more uh, wider stripes. I don't know which one I like better, but I think they're both pretty cool. But let me take all this paint off and we'll show you the end result out in the sun. Alright guys, so I'm out here looking at into the sun, but that's so you guys can get a good look at this rifle. I absolutely love it. It's a little bit awesome. It's a little bit ghetto. It's a little bit redneck, but I think it suits me absolutely perfectly, and I think it came out even better than what I was expecting. But check this out. I'll give you a kind of an up-close, end-to-end look there. Hopefully the sunlight is doing it justice there, but... Like I said, it's not perfect, but pretty much exactly what I was looking for. I definitely like it a whole lot better than just that regular old plain Jane black stock. But hey, I absolutely love it. Now, <laughs> this seriously has me considering painting every single rifle I own, but I probably shouldn't do that, should I? But uh, for a rig that me and my boys are going to be using and hunting for years to come, I absolutely dig it. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about it. Do you think it looks like trash? Do you think it looks awesome? But uh, stay tuned for a whole lot more videos of this 700 ADL. Um, hopefully now that I got this different scope on and have it cranked down 
and torqued right, it'll be shooting better. But appreciate y'all. We'll see y'all on the next one. Hoo hoo.